<laughs> wow. That sledding looked fun. Yeah. In, well, H in Houston? <laughs> that's well, unusual. That's weird, huh? <laughs> Pretty cold. Yeah. 17 outside right now. <laughs> Black ice from all of the light snow that fell. It didn't take much to cause very slick roadways. And this is what it looked like around the Salt Lake Valley along the Wasatch Front. It was a skating rink, and it essentially means you need to slow down maybe half the speed limit, maybe even less than that as you head to your destination. And if you don't need to go, maybe stay home. And there are more storms on the way. Currently on the Live 5 Viper, you can see some light snow. At present, a chaotic wind pattern that drives these light snow showers mainly to the south of the lake will switch around a little bit to the southeast and then towards the east. In other words, there will be some snow showers east and south of the lake tonight through tomorrow morning because the lake is warm and the air is very cold. And so it's acting like a mountain lifting that air up and giving us some snow showers. In the forecast though, let's look at the watches and the warnings. This is for primarily Sunday night through Tuesday, a winter storm watch, which encompasses much of Nevada, parts of Utah. There is a blizzard warning for the LaSalle and Abajo Mountains. We have a winter weather advisory for the snow near the Great Salt Lake tonight through tomorrow morning, and then Sunday night, right on through Monday into Tuesday. This next storm coming in is going to produce quite a bit of snow. 17 in Salt Lake, as I mentioned, very cold in Logan, four right now. There is some snow at this time from the southwest mountains through the east, and tonight some snow will accumulate in areas to the east and south of the Wasatch Plateau. Two and a half inches in Bountiful, 0.02 in Eden, 1.4 inches in Layton. Very cold today. To the south, though, a little bit warmer in Provo, it was 37, and of course the warm spot, typically St. George, where it was 46. Three inches of snow falling out in West Valley City. Very cold air mass overhead. Let's put this into perspective. There's a very strong jet stream moving along at about 120 to 140 miles per hour. That's why we're starting to see a little increase in snow tonight over the south central and southeastern part of the state. This is a very cold upper low and moisture coming in from the Pacific is going to be pulled in. There will be a clash zone setting up and that's why we have winter storm watches out because a wave is forming over here in California. This wave is going to move in a position over Nevada. We call this a Nevada low. This is for the time frame 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday. We'll start to see some snow along the Wasatch Front because cold air will move through the canyons, warm air over the top and then the track of this low, depending on where it goes, to the north by about 80 to 100 miles, a Williams wave, a Nevada low, that's where the heaviest snow will fall. And at this time, the Wasatch Front is part of that area, so we need to be watching it very carefully. Tonight, a little bit of snow, as I mentioned, parts of the east, southeast, the basin. Not much snow will cause some very slick roads in those areas as well. It's dry along the I-15 corridor tonight, but it changes quite a bit over the next several days. And this storm will even bring a chance for snow across the south. In the Wasatch Front, light snow showers, especially south and east of the lake. Accumulations for tonight through 11 a.m., one to three inches in the mountains of the north and the central and eastern mountains, five to eight. Southeast of the Great Salt Lake, some snow there as well as southwest Wyoming. The big storm comes in, and this is the Sunday night through Tuesday time frame. Wasatch Mountains, 15 to 30 inches. The Central Mountains, 25 to 40 inches. The I-15 corridor potentially could get hit hard. So snow Monday, Tuesday, cold, and another little storm towards the end of the week. But folks, this is one that if you don't need to go, stay at home, especially Monday into Tuesday. And I know you have to travel to work, so. Yeah, be careful out there. Got to be really cautious. Okay, thanks, Dan. You're welcome.